No more free parking in the Smokies. It's a historic change for the nation's most popular national park. The new plan is called Park It Forward and would start in 2023. It calls on drivers parking a car, truck or motorcycle to pay a fee to park. The proposal also calls for $5 for daily passes on up to $40 a year for a yearly tag. Reporter Mary Klingler explains what's at stake. Cruise of the Smokies main objective is to provide the margin of excellence. Over the years, we've gone from providing the margin of excellence for historic preservation and other pro special projects inside the park to covering the daily maintenance needs of the park. Each year, the nonprofit Friends of the Smokies raises and donates between three and five million dollars to improve trails and meet other needs in the national park. That's why it supports the new proposed parking fee. It stands to raise an extra 10 to 15 million dollars a year. It will add staff and improve basic maintenance and allow Friends of the Smokies to get back to paying for the special passion projects. They make the visitor experience even greater. Already more than 14 million visitors to the Smokies makes it the busiest national park in the country. But the actual number of visitors is millions more. When you factor in the number of people rolling through the park in cars, trucks and motorcycles, that number is 24.3 million. We want the park to continue to be free and open to visitors so that they can go enjoy the picnic areas and the trails and have the, the park rangers there. So something has to be done. We understand that they've got to address that issue. Under the new Park It Forward plan, one full day will cost you $5. A seven-day pass, $15. A season pass is 40 bucks. Pigeon Forge City Director of Tourism, Leon Down, says he doesn't expect fewer visitors because of the parking fees. They don't draw the lines in the dirt like the locals do. Reporting in the Smokies, I'm Mary Klingler. Again, that plan could still change, and that's why the park is asking for feedback from the public. Anyone looking to offer that feedback has until May 7th. We have links to do so at our website. And right now 